Hey everybody, it's Marshall Mike here. This is going to be my Supergirl Season 2 Episode 15 review. Supergirl got better this week. I'm so glad because last week's episode was horrible. I mean, it was really bad. So this episode, a little better. There were a few flaws that I found in this episode, but I actually did like this one a lot better than the last one. There was a lot of emotion at the end of this one, and I like that. I like how they kind of put some depth into this uh, week's episode so there's some good things and there's some bad things but overall this episode was a solid win I think um, at least compared to last week's episode because it was really bad uh, go watch my review for that um, anyway this week's episode was pretty low-key it was more of an Alex episode than it was a Kara episode which I like I like how they're kind of giving Alex a lot in this season I feel like this season Alex has got to be more of a character in terms of like screen time i mean she got a lot of screen time last season too but this season she's got you know a lot more going on in her her arc um not only does she have jeremiah but she also has maggie and all that and blah 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 so i feel like she has like so much this season and i like how they're doing that um so alex just got so much this episode um she even got to go a little dark and we'll talk about that but I feel like Alex is going to end up dying. <laughs> like, I feel like they're going to kill her off. She's such a cool character, and she's not from the comics. So I feel like they're going to maybe, like, kill her, which is... Or, like, maybe do, like, severe injuries, which is really sad because I really like Alex quite a bit. But this episode, um, it was kind of like Snapper Car versus Kara in this episode, and I really like that. I like how Kara still has to do with a lot of stuff in her real life. We've seen a lot of Cadmus recently and, like, a lot of Supergirl stuff. Um, especially in the Mr. Mix's Piddlick episode. So it's nice to see that they're kind of giving us some more of Kara's normal life. Um, still in connection with Lena Luthor, um, which I like. I like Lena quite a bit. I think that Lena is an interesting character. I can't shake the fact that she's still evil. Like, I know she's not. They've thrown it in our faces that she's not, but she, like, the actress, the way she plays the character just feels like she's trying to betray Kara in some way. So I don't know what's going to happen with the Lena character, but I want to see. Um, Kara had some unfortunate setbacks in this episode, the big one being she was fired from CatCo, so she's gonna have to find a new job or work at CatCo, eventually, like, get her job back. I think that she's gonna work somewhere else for the time being, and then maybe get her job back by season three, but it's really unclear what's gonna happen with that storyline. When this episode, so Wynn's girlfriend, Lyra, I think that's her name, got kidnapped with all the other aliens that were kidnapped, uh, especially with that scene at the beginning of the episode. I actually liked that scene quite a bit. But, um, anyway, so Wynn, I think that Wynn's girlfriend is nice. I think that that's given him something to do, but I'm kind of over the storyline. I feel like Wynn needs to have, like, a car, uh, not a car, sorry, an Alex moment where he gets, like, a lot for the season. He kind of got that with the whole Silver Banshee arc last season, but then that kind of, like, ended on a sour note. Now, Martian Manhunter, this was awful. This was, like, really cruel. Not awful like bad. This was cruel to do to Alex. I love this scene because I actually bought it. I actually thought that that was actually Jeremiah who broke into Alex's apartment. But it was Martian Manhunter the whole time. And I'm like, ah, oh, I fell for the whole Martian Manhunter shape shifts into a other character bit. I fell for that whole thing, um, which was kind of sad. So I feel like that kind of set Alex on edge a little bit. I feel like Alex is really on edge a little bit. Because in this episode, she went super dark. We saw the prisoner that was in the cell in the DEO. And she just went off on that guy. And I loved it. I was like, oh, that's so great. I feel like between her and Diggle, the, like, the rage interrogations are just so much fun to watch. Like, I really love that. And then also, like, Batman Dark Knight style. Like, I feel like this is just so much fun to watch these characters go into, like, dark interrogations. So that I feel like the CW has to do that for everyone. I don't know. Maybe the Flash is next. Maybe Cisco's gonna go dark and like start beating prisoners, or maybe like Caitlyn. I don't know. Maybe Caleb will like ice people up uh, with their Caleb Ross powers. Um, but anyway, so I liked seeing Alex go a little dark in this episode. I'd love to see Alex go dark more often. Again, I feel like Alex is getting so much this season, and I like it. Um, and I feel like she's getting better as a character um i don't know again i don't know how i feel about the whole relationship thing i like her with maggie but i don't feel like i i don't know i don't know how i felt about the overall like change just because it was weird because a lot of people are saying that she doesn't have to be gay to be a strong character but i don't know i'm fine with it either way now kara and monel i just love them they're goals and it really, and the episode end, ended on a sweet note with them together. So I feel like, you know, all success around. And the emotion between Alex and Kara um, when she was pushing back the space shuttle, ah, oh, that was my favorite scene of the episode because it showed 
how much Kara still needs to pull to you know pull through. I mean, even though she's super strong, she still needs to do so much to save people. Well, what did you guys think of the episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Comment down below. Links to my other Supergirl videos. Links in there to my Twitter, Instagram, blog channel, and gaming channel. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.